Well, hey friends, welcome back to my channel and happy new year. So now that it is 2023, it's time to film one of my favorite videos to make every January, and that is a wrap up of everything that I sewed over the past year. So here I have all of my sewing projects from 2022, and I'm so excited to go over all of these with you guys today. I hope this will give you some ideas or inspiration for projects you want to make this year, and I'm just so happy to see everything here together. I was steaming all of these clothes yesterday, and it was just really satisfying to see everything that I've made over the course of a year. So I have 18 different sewing projects as well as two thrift flips to share with you today so let's go ahead and jump in so starting out with shirts and tops i made five different tops over the course of the year and here is the first one this is mccall's number 8181 and i love how this one turned out this is a really pretty blue floral printed fabric from rifle paper company i love the yellow and blue tones of this print and this is one of their cotton and linen canvases so it's a little bit of a thicker fabric which i think worked really well for this style this style has a cute ruffle detail here at the hemline as well as a lot of different seaming details on the front and back and a really cute sweetheart neckline and then I opted to do covered buttons on the front which I think is so so cute I was all about the covered buttons this year so this is an example of that but I definitely wore this one a lot in the springtime now one of my sewing goals for 2022 was to get more into making my own patterns and to get more comfortable with making my own patterns so this is a self-drafted pattern for a basic long sleeve t-shirt and if you know me you know I love my striped shirts so this is something that I wore so much this year this fabric is a really soft drapey jersey from mood fabrics and I love the spacing of the stripes it's an ivory and black stripe fabric so I think it's a really good classic piece this is a really fitted t-shirt with long sleeves sleeves and then there's just the classic neck band here and I think it turned out really well. I was really pleased with how the pattern turned out. I used the instructions from the Aldrich book for their basic knit block and this is what resulted from that. And then another self-drafted top that has been one of my most worn projects this year is this lace shirt. And I love how this one turned out. I was trying to make something similar to a shirt I had seen from Cezanne, and this is what I came up with. So the fabric is this cotton lace from Mood Fabrics, and it has this nice edge detail that is really pretty that I use to make these shoulder ruffles. And I love how that looks. I think this looks so cute with a pair of jeans. It has long sleeves with elastic at the cuffs and then a little keyhole detail with a button in the back and I've just really enjoyed wearing this one this year. This next top I made using my sure to shirt tutorial that I have on my channel, but this time I made it with longer sleeves, which I think looks really cute. And I love how comfortable this style is because of the elastic in the top. It's really comfortable to wear, very stretchy. And this one I really love the print of as well. This is a Rifle Paper Company quilting cotton, and I think the blue and green tones are just so nice in this fabric. And then the last top is one of my most worn of the summer. This is a really cute little gingham tank top, and I love the color of this fabric so much. This is from Joanne Fabrics and it's just a cotton seersucker gingham in these pretty peach tones. For this project I used the Colette Patterns which is also called Seamwork Patterns. I think that's their new name. It's their Sorbito tank top pattern which is available for free on their website so I'll link to that down below. And then I altered it this time to have a button placket down the back again with the covered buttons and also cropped it to be a little bit shorter because that's what I prefer. And I really loved wearing this one in the summertime. I think it looks so cute with shorts and jeans and it was just a really versatile piece. So that's all of the tops and shirts. So let's move on to shorts and skirts. And first up is this pair of shorts that goes along with that tank top I just showed you. I made these as a matching set. And this pair of shorts is made from a vintage 1950s pattern that is one of my favorite patterns. It's such a cute pair of shorts. They have pleats in the front and darts in the back and then side pockets and a side zipper. And I just love this style. I think it's so easy to wear and really, really comfortable as well, especially in this lightweight cotton fabric. And then as far as skirts go, for me this year was really the year of the simple A-line skirt. I was really enjoying wearing them and also making them. They're really fast and easy to make and I think they look so cute and kind of retro. So the first one that I made is this little tweed skirt. 
And for this one, I use the Colette Patterns Meringue Skirt Pattern, which is in their sewing handbook. It's a basic A-line skirt with darts, but it does have a scallop design on the bottom of the pattern, which I removed for this particular project. And I also opted to add a lining to this one, which I think worked really well with this heavier fabric. So a few design details that I added are these little tabs, which I think look so cute with these pearl and gold buttons. And then I also lined it in a fun contrasting lilac fabric, which I absolutely love. This fabric is a tweed from Mood Fabrics and it has some metallic threads in it and it's just been one of my favorite skirts to wear this year. And then another skirt made with the exact same pattern is this one and this is just such a fun one. I really want to bring out a pattern in my pattern line eventually that has this detail here on the front because I think it is so cute. So hopefully one day I can create that. But this is the exact same pattern, but I just added this scalloped edge here in the front and made it wrap around and button to the side. And again, more covered buttons. I was really into that. This fabric is some fabric I had left over from a pair of trousers I made a few years ago. This fabric is from Mood Fabrics and it's a really nice lightweight wool fabric that's comfortable to wear. And then I just lined it in this peachy color that goes along with the color scheme. So again, another favorite skirt to wear. And then one more skirt project, this one I actually just made in December and I didn't end up making a video about it but it was a really simple one. For this skirt I used the Seamwork Ginger Skirt pattern which is a basic A-line skirt. This one doesn't have darts it's just the A-line shape and then I did make my waistband a little bit thinner just because that's what I wanted for this style and it has a zipper in the back instead of on the side. This fabric is again from Mood Fabrics and it's a really pretty cream and black houndstooth print which has just been so perfect for the winter. I love styling this with a basic sweater and a pair of tights. I think it looks so cute and kind of mod. So this has been one of my favorite projects for sure for the winter time and I've been really enjoying wearing this one as well. One thing I really like about all three of those skirts is that they're very versatile for the different seasons. I feel like it's been really easy to make them work for the fall and winter, but also really cute in the spring. Maybe not so much the summer where I live because it does get super hot, but I've been really enjoying wearing all three of them. Moving on now to dresses, I made six dresses this year and this first one was a springtime dress that I made and I drafted this pattern. This is actually the first dress pattern that I've drafted and I really love how it turned out. It's a basic wrap dress. It's kind of hard to show you on the hanger, but I'll have a try on clip included. And then my favorite part of the style are the sleeves. They have this drawstring and keyhole detail with this little tie. I think it looks so cute. And then it just wraps in the front. I lined it in a cotton fabric. This main fabric is a rayon from Rifle Paper Company. And it's got such a nice drape, which is really comfortable to wear, especially for a dress. This style has darts in the front and in the back. And then the skirt is just a simple gathered skirt around knee length. This is such a comfortable dress to wear and a really good classic. Next up is the dress that I made to wear for Thanksgiving this year. This is made from a vintage 1970s Laura Ashley pattern, which I absolutely love the style of. It has this beautiful empire waist. And for this particular dress, I decided to make it a little bit shorter. So I shortened the skirt and then I also made the sleeves into long sleeves. They have elastic at the cuffs. And then I decided to use a velvet ribbon instead of a drawstring, which I think brings it into the fall and winter a little bit more. This fabric is a quilting cotton from Rifle Paper Company in a really pretty peach and blue floral print and I just love how this one looks. This next dress I made using my shirt dress tutorial which you can find on my channel and for this one I made it with these longer puffy sleeves which I think are so pretty. Again the shirring makes for such a comfortable piece to wear. This fabric is a rayon from Mood Fabrics and it's in this beautiful classic twall print and I just love how this one looks. It's very like cottage core and the blue and white is so pretty. This next dress was one of my most worn of the summer for sure because it's very comfortable and light. It's another wrap dress and this is a McCall's pattern. I can't remember the specific number off the top of my head but I will have it listed down below. One thing I love about this particular wrap dress is that the sleeves are made puffy using pleats instead of gathers so I think it's really cool. It's a little bit different and then it just wraps around in the front and has a tie that goes around the waist. And then my favorite part of this one are the little ruffles at the bottom of the hem. I just think it's so cute. This fabric is from Mood Fabrics yet again, and it is a seersucker fabric with this really pretty floral print. And I love the blue and white once again. 
Then up next we have this summer dress and this is actually a combination of two patterns from By Hand London. The top is from the Kim dress pattern and the bottom is from the Anna dress pattern. And then I added these cute little bows on the shoulder which I just think are adorable. This fabric is a rayon fabric from Joanne Fabrics and I think the color is so pretty. It's like this mint aqua color which I love in the summertime especially. I wore this one to a couple of wedding events for my friend's wedding in Turkey this past summer and it's a really comfortable dress. And then this last dress is another self-drafted pattern. For this one I started with the same base pattern as the striped t-shirt over here and then I changed it to have princess seams on the front and then I also added a little bit of puffiness to the sleeves and then I added the top to a full circle skirt. So for this one, I was trying to make something very similar to a dress from Gal Meets Glam that they used to have, but that I never got my hands on and I wanted my own version of it. So that's what this one is. And it's a really great basic, comfortable fall and winter dress. It's made out of a knit fabric, so very stretchy and comfy. I made two sets of pajamas this year, and these are both from the Closet Core Patterns Carolyn pajama pattern, which is just one of my favorite patterns of all time. It is so satisfying to sew, and I actually just finished um, last month making five different sets of this pajama pattern for my mom and my sisters for Christmas. But for myself, I made these two sets this year. So the first one is the short sleeves and shorts version, and this is another Rifle Paper Company cotton fabric. I love this periwinkle blue color, and I added these cute little ruffles onto to the sleeves inspired by some pajamas I saw at Anthropology, And these are just so comfy to wear. I love this set. And then here's what the shorts look like. They have the matching ruffle as well and side pockets. These are so incredibly comfortable. And then this set is the long sleeves and long pajama bottoms version. And this fabric is such a pretty one from Rifle Paper Company. I loved playing with the striped print on these pajamas because I could go multiple directions. So on the cuffs, I went horizontally. And then on the main part of the pajamas, it's that that vertical stripe. I think these are so cute and I love having both sets. So I have the shorts, the long pants, the short sleeves, the long sleeves, something for any temperature. And then last year I made a coat and this is my pride and joy of all of my sewing projects from the past year. This was my first time to tackle a tailoring project like this and I was really intimidated by it. It was kind of scary to me going through all of the different steps and all of the different details involved in a project like this, but I'm really glad I decided to give it a try. For this coat, I used the itch to stitch legging coat pattern, and I love all of the different details that this pattern has, especially in the back. It has all of these seaming details, different panels, and this little bit on the shoulder too. There are shoulder pads in this. It's lined in this really pretty blue color, and it was just so rewarding to go through this whole project. I think I could definitely do a better job on it if I were to make it again, but as far as a learning experience goes, it was really rewarding, and I've worn this one so much. I actually took it with me to Chicago a couple of weeks ago and wore it there, and it kept me nice and warm, so I think that's a good review on this particular fabric. This is a boiled wool from Mood Fabrics, and it's really nice and thick. It comes in a lot of colors as well. And then this lining fabric is actually the same fabric that I used to line these two skirts over here just in a blue color this time. This is from Mood Fabrics and it's my favorite lining material because it's really lightweight and silky. But I definitely feel like this was my most rewarding project of the year and I'm really looking forward to trying something like this again. Now usually when I make one of these videos, I have some knitting projects to share with you, but not this year. I have been in a knitting slump for the past year, and I don't know if any of you guys remember, but last year in December, I shared a little bit about a sweater I was knitting for my dad for Christmas, and I am still working on that. It was supposed to be done over a year ago, and it still isn't. So last Christmas, I gave him like the unfinished pieces of the sweater and just let him know that I was working on it. And he was a really good sport about it, but now it's become almost a joke between us because it's taking me so long. But now I only have about this much left, so we're almost there but it will have a lot of time invested into it by the time it's done. So that's put me in a little bit of a knitting slump because that's the only thing I've been working on. But hopefully as soon as I get that finished, I will be back into knitting mode for the new year. But I do have a couple of thrift flip sweaters I wanted to show you guys that are kind of along the same lines as a knitting project. 
This first one is so much fun. This is a pink sweater that I thrifted and then I just added all of these little pearl beads all over the entire sweater and I think it's such a cute embellishment. It makes it a little bit festive and I really enjoyed wearing this one. It goes really well with this little black and white skirt. I think it's super cute together and I love how this one turned out. But probably my favorite thrift flip of the year and maybe ever is this little cardigan. I think it turned out so adorably. It was originally this longer cardigan. It was crocheted and so I decided to unravel some of it and make it cropped and then add this lace to the edge. So I just crocheted that on and then added a cute little velvet ribbon in the front and I love wearing this one. So that is everything that I made for my wardrobe in 2022 and to be honest I felt like my sewing inspiration was really hit or miss over the past year. I had months at a time where I just didn't have any ideas or didn't feel excited about what I was making so for me it was really rewarding to look back and see everything here together because I realized I did make a lot of pieces that I really love and get a lot of use out of so that made me really happy to realize and I'm hoping for a little bit more consistent sewing inspiration over in the next year. I would love to know which one of these items is your favorite if you have a favorite and I would also love to know what your favorite project you made for yourself this year was so please let me know in the comments down below. That's going to be it from me today and I will talk to you guys in a new video very very soon. Bye!